What's up YouTube, my name is Ian Sandusky, welcome to Let's Machine. Uh, we're going to hope to give you a little bit of information here for beginning machinists. Hopefully we can do some things that are uh, going to help you out when you're trying to learn the trade. Today we're going to be talking about setting tool heights in a Haas VF5 vertical belt. If you have a different controller or a different kind of machine, this may not apply to you. Also, there's a million different ways to do things in machining. So if you have a different way, or you've been taught a different way, that's absolutely okay. There's one way to do it, this is how we do it. Let's take a look and let's see what we can do. So as you can see here, we're using a Haas Automation VF5 with a Finuc controller. I've had this since 2008, I believe. So for this next part, we're going to use a standard 1-2-3 block and 2-4-6 block. Make sure your table's nice and clean. Make sure you have your safety glasses on during this part. Um, if a carbide tool breaks, it tends to shatter. We set our tool heights to 9 inches off the table. So we're going to stack the blocks up like this and bring the tool and the holder down to below the level of the 1-2-3 block. Um, we do this so then you're only going to measure the tool upwards so that you don't accidentally wrap it down into the part. Uh, which would cause bad things to happen. So all you're going to do is keep moving that 1-2-3 block underneath the tool until it starts to slide and you can feel it touch. You're going to go to the offset screen, highlight the correct tool's geometry, and to switch that to the level that we want it at, you're just going to press the tool offset measure button, and that's going to automatically input the new geometry into uh, the system. Now to set the work offset, we're going to jog the tool over the workpiece. Now, be very careful, take your time doing this. If you break the tool, you're going to have to reset the tool height, you're going to get mad, and you're going to be out a tool. So, take your time. And you can see here, we're just moving the tool over top of the part. Now, we're going to grab a piece of paper. This is a part where we're going to face off the top, so we don't have to be that accurate. A uh, piece of paper is generally around 3 thou. You can use a 1 thou shim and a center drill or something with a single point if you want to be very accurate. Once it starts to grab, be careful. You only want to have it on 1 thou here, 1 thou increments. And as soon as you feel it grab, we're going to go back over to our controller. Now we're going to take the tool geometry and ignore the negative signs. And the Z position, again, ignore the negative signs. We're going to take, put in our um, tool geometry here. And we're going to take away the Z position number. So 17.534 minus 19.984. Nine. And that's going to give us a value. And in our case here, it's negative two point something. We're going to put that in the work offset. We're going to use G54. Now what this is doing is we're telling the machine how far below nine inches, where we set our work uh, or our uh, tool height at, how far below nine inches that is. Once you input that number, hit the F1 key and it'll automatically change it. We're going to jog up away from the part. If you press and hold the Z up button, it will move just in that direction so you don't have to worry about crashing your tool. And that's the quick, easy, dirty way to set tool heights and your work offset height. This isn't going to get you super, super accurate results, but for this part, we're decking the top off anyway, so it doesn't really matter. We're going to be adjusting it as we go. If you wanted really precise results, we're going to go through that with another tutorial. This one is just to show you how to set a tool height, how to get your offsets, and then how to work from it from there. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching, guys. See you soon.